kusiana nini na wewe nipo tuwaveta hii na wewe Watu kuni kusiana nani Jamani Na ujijua mmeolewa lakini mmekuja na madanga pigia kerele Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wimba Imani. Like in every African country and throughout many African societies, music is an integral part and is woven and embedded in the culture of its peoples. On today's episode, of course, we are in the beautiful and amazing country of Tanzania. Now, many people have asked me, what are some of the music people like in Tanzania? Well, in Tanzania, you can find many different flavors of music. After all, there are over a hundred tribes in Tanzania, but yet it's still a united republic. On today's episode, we'll be refocusing on Tarabu Muziki. Now, Tarabu Muziki is especially popular on the coastal areas of Tanzania and also in the Republic of Kenya, especially in the coastal areas. You had great singers, for example, Siti Bint Saad was one of the first commercial a successful Tarab artist who toured the world and recorded many gramophones in India, over 150, and she was widely known. You also had the likes of B. Kidunde and also Meze Yusuf, who played an integral part in spreading the music of Tarab music. Now, of course, with Tarab, it's, it's a mixture. Of course, it is influenced by some Middle Eastern sounds, also sounds from the African Great Lake region. And all of that is fused together with a nice coastal flavor here in Tanzania. And of course, you'll find it in coastal areas in Kenya as well. I recently went to an event here in Dar es Salaam, which was an amazing event. And Tara music was, of course, the main music that was played. And you had very popular artists who are known throughout the country. And I'm happy to share with you today's vlog. So, welcome to Inspire for Travel and enjoy today's show. Okay, you're looking at Tamashala Musiki Watarabu at the Traventine Hotel in Magomeni in Dar es Salaam. Now, this is a weekly event that happens every Saturday. It's around 7,000 Tanzanian shillings to get inside. So, it's definitely affordable and you get to experience the real, real coastal Swahili culture here from the Tarabu Musiki here today so enjoy today's show you'll see people walking around they're singing some of the songs tarab songs and it's really an amazing experience guys hope you enjoy <laughs>
Okay, guys, so at this point in the night of the show, you can see people have formed a circle and they're going around, they're dancing, they're singing. I do enjoy going to Tarab events and festivals. It's definitely a joyful time. And in fact, the word Tarab is a loan word from the Arabic language, Lugala al Arabiya, and it means having joy with music. Okay, so you will definitely experience that when you go to Tarab events. You can see people are formed the circle and they're enjoying themselves in an orderly fashion. It's definitely fun. You don't gotta worry about your safety. People are friendly. So I really enjoy this event here, guys. And Tarab music is definitely something that stands out for the coastal Swahili culture. It's originally believed to have started in Zanzibar, the Tarabu music. And for those who may not know, I'll just give you a little background information about uh, Tarab music. Now, Tarab music is a fusion of pre-Islamic tunes also. And it's usually sung in a rhythmic, poetic style, spiced with Arab-style melodies. It is an extremely lively art form and immensely popular, especially among the women here in Tanzania and the coastal areas in East Africa, drawing on all the time from old and new sources. Tarab music forms a major part of the social life of the Swahili people along the coastal areas, especially in Zanzibar, Tanga, and even further in Mombasa and Melindi along the Kenya coast. Tarabu Muziki is a music genre which is popular in Tanzania and Kenya. It is influenced by musical traditions of the African Great Lakes region, also North Africa and the Middle East, and to some extent the Indian subcontinent. Tarab music rose to prominence in 1928 with the advent of the genre's first star, Sinti Bin Saad, who was from Zanzibar. <laughs> 